12. Where are we? Hovering slot position. Store value. Array get. Hovering slot position. Tree slot quantity. And then. Tree set quantity. Get the amount we want. Hover slot position goes to null. Let's see what's happening here. A zero on the apple, but it is five in this guy. Oh no, he's not five there. He's five here, he's not five there. So this part worked. <coughs> quantities and that one should go null not a big deal with a zero out anyways so is nine five oh look at that eh set that one there but I'm sitting the extra sand like that well why would I do such a silly little thing like that Kind of hard to set a value of one number if I haven't set that value yet in the order of things now, is it? There we go. So now we have items moving around. Quantity and item. No sound effects. It's almost kind of neat having that item grow big. It's like it's like I'm the active item. Right. <clears throat> so now what happens if you drop an item on top of an item? Right? We haven't done any of that logic yet. It's just gonna be like, oh my god, what's happening? Right? So <clears throat> I mean really if you look back in the logic I, I kinda skipped all those parts and I, I did that on purpose. I if they uh you know things like this because it, it'll it'll deal back with getting into the scriptable object right <clears throat> do you want the object to be stackable right um, some items yes some items no so it kind of does more than just a little bit of a split here it'll split a couple times um, I almost wonder if we should end that video there, even though it's just a short video. It's only been four minutes. Um, and we'll call that kind of like the basics. Like we got, we have some items that have images. Um, and we can move them around. We can open and close our inventory. Well, we can open and close the slots, right? We didn't put in the, the data for Right, you take something like this and it sends like, okay, this is, we're going to open and close, right? Well, then this guy here, on the toggle end of things, um, during this done phase, then he would uh, do some logic to open and close things. We want... 
So now, right, it's closed, it's open, it's closed, it's open. Now you have an inventory opening and closing, right? But if we had something else, like another collection, and we hit it, we tell it to open, but use the other collection, it would build that collection instead of the players, uh, which is what we'll, we'll get to. So, but like I said, I think I think we'll call it good there, and we'll gear up and start doing the item stacking. Or if they can't stack, what do we what do we do when we drop an item on another item? Do we make them swap places, or do we just cancel that that trade as is? You'd match the swapping place is probably a better option. Um, and then, and then of course, the stacking. Once we get that, we'll have a fairly functional inventory, and then we can get into um, adding items to the player, like doing like a world pickup kind of idea and how you would add them in, um, as well as, say, using items like, say, Wow, health potion or you're gonna eat that apple right you eat an apple you want to see that quantity drop by one and maybe an event sent to the player saying hey I ate an apple do something all right so until then we'll talk to you guys later <laughs>